All right, guys, so we got to talk about race hustling. Female basketball coach out of South Carolina, Miss Don Staley, who is going viral for playing a race car after losing in the NCAA Final Four game versus Iowa. Now, uh, this loss really stings because the South Carolina Gamecocks, um, they had a 42-game winning streak uh, going into uh, this game, and they were looking to return back to the national championship, okay? The team was very good, and they were known for how physical they are, right? They were great at rebounding, and, um, you know, opposing coaches would comment about how good that team was in regards to physicality, rebounding, things like that, you know? Language that is par for the course when it comes to sports and how you describe athletes and players and how they play the game, okay? This stuff is not that complicated, uh, however, she was asked a question by the woke mainstream liberal media about her players being called bullies or referred to as bullies. And this South Carolina basketball coach played the race car in response to this question. Take a look. Times other coaches, your colleagues have sitting in that spot and talked about you all being bullies. What's the truth about your team? The truth about our team, okay? It's a good question, okay? Um, we're not bar fighters. We're not thugs. We're not monkeys. We're not street fighters. Um, this team exemplifies how you need to approach basketball on the court and off the court. And I do think that I do think that that's sometimes brought into the game, and it and it and it hurts. Okay, um, and I do think that some of uh, I'm gonna say it because I said I was gonna say it, whether we lost or whether we won. Some of the people in the media, when you're gathering in public, you're saying things about our team, and you're being heard and it's being brought back to me, okay? And these are the people that write nationally for our, for our sport. So you can, you can not like our team, okay? You can not like me, um, but when you say things that you probably should be saying um, in your home, on the phone, or texting, out in public, and you're being heard, and you are a national writer for our sport, it just confirms, just confirms what what we already know. So watch what you say when you're in public and you're talking about my team in particular. Just watch what you say about our team because it's wrong. You, you got young lives who are really, if you really knew them, if you really knew them, like you really want to know other players that represent this game, you would think differently. So don't judge us by the color of our skin, okay? Judge us by how we approach the game. And you may not like how we play the game, you may not like it. That's the way we play, that's the way, we, that's the way I coach. I'm not changing. We found success in it, and maybe some days, like today, we end up on the losing side of the, the stick. But guess what? We live to see another day. We live to see um, the comeback next year and try to do this again. Because I'm not changing. I'm not changing. But I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Again, uh, they lost in the Final Four to Iowa, 77-73. Uh, to 73. Now, the Iowa head coach, uh, Lisa Blutter, uh, called South Carolina an amazing offensive rebounding team earlier this week. Uh, she went on to say, quote, somebody kind of just described it to me as they're going to a bar fight when you try to go rebound against them. They're just so good, Blunder said. So, clearly, um, she is referring to what this coach said, okay, and she's also trying to call out members of the national media, okay, for saying, I don't know, <laughs> mean things about her team. I'm not as sure exactly where she's getting this stuff from, but to me, it seems that she's salty. 
right? You're salty that you lost, so you want to play the race card, right? You notice how doing her little speech, she was like, well, I was going to say this regardless of whether we won or whether we lost. <laughs> that There's some racism going on here because people describe the way we play the game as, you know, I guess bullies, right? Or going into a bar fight, which again, this is how people in sports talk about how players play the game. And this is not something that they just do with basketball, which is not really all that physical compared to other sports like football or MMA or whatever. Again, they talk about sports like that. That's how you talk about sports. It's a common way of talking about sports. She knows that, right? She knows that. But yet again, this woman has a history of playing victim of race hustling for clout and virtue signal points. This is the same coach that canceled a basketball game against BYU because of uh, BYU student section or whatever. Some student at BYU allegedly shouting racial slurs at a black uh, Duke volleyball player, which turned out to be completely false, right? It was made up, okay? It was a race hoax. But don't let the facts get in the way, right, of the hustle here, okay? Because she went and canceled the game anyways, claiming that, hey, I don't want my players to be subject to that type of racism, right? I don't want them to be subject to racial slurs. Story was made up, right? That, that, that There were no racial slurs that were being hurled against that volleyball player. But again, I mean... These they kill me, man. <laughs> right? They do. They kill me. The first thing these people will do when they lose, when they don't get their way, is play the race card. Somehow, some way, they're a victim. Well, you know, the media is calling us bullies. And it's like, you know what the hell they're talking about. You know that this is how they talk about sports. Ain't got nothing to do with the skin color of the players on your team. Okay? They play physical. If anything, that, that's a compliment. If somebody says you're a bully in a sport, <laughs> right, that's more likely to be a compliment. Than an actual negative thing. You know, I mean, you know this. You're a coach. There's no doubt in my mind when she has been reviewing game film or talking to her players about how other teams play in their style of play, there's no doubt that she's used the, that type of language to describe other uh, players and how other teams play. Because that's just what you do, right? Anybody that's ever been in a sports locker room at all, Knows that this, again, is, is, is how you talk about how other teams play, right? You make these types of comparisons. <laughs> you know, I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, this is what people do. They, they, they get mad. They lose. And this is way they play the race card. At least she didn't punch somebody in the face, right? Like that other woman uh, who, who lost, right? The other girl, she punched the girl in the face uh, doing the handshake line, okay? You're supposed to show some sportsmanship. She decided to punch the girl in the face. Again, probably salty that she lost. This is not how you handle losing, right? You don't play the victim of the car, and you don't punch people. But again, you know, I, I don't really expect anything less from these types of people, right? To be quite honest with you. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.